Hey, Drew James here. The video you're about to watch is a fingerstyle blues song, which is taken from my course, Drew's Blues Volume 1. Now you can get access to that course if you like this video uh, by clicking the link in the video description. That will give you a free 10 day trial to my premium lessons and premium courses. The idea of those lessons and courses is that they're structured, easy step by step, little wins each day and building your skill level. So please check it out, see what you think. Enjoy the lesson and keep on playing. One, two, three, four. It's the first bar of Escaping the Ninky Nog. So we're taking an A chord. Now I strongly recommend that with this A chord you use your middle, ring and pinky finger, even if you're not used to doing it. The reason being it's a bit easier to cram all those fingers in there rather than these bigger, fatter fingers. Uh, using the little finger does mean that we're not spraying into these frets. And it also means I find personally it's easier to be lifting up off strings with that little finger because that's what we're going to be doing. If you do do A this way, that's fine, or, or that way, but just remember it might be harder for you not to be touching the B string. So try middle ring and pinky with your A chord on the second fret on the D, G and B. So we're starting with an A chord but lifting up the little finger, keeping off the B string pinching the A string and that open B string. And then we're gonna put that little finger back right away. Then change the bass note to the D string, so we're alternating bass notes. Then open on the thinnest. Then back to bass, then play middle finger on that two. Then let go with the little finger again on the D string and pinch the D and the B. And then index finger on the G. Do that again. So bear in mind the bass notes are doing this. So they're alternating from the A to the D string. Then stay there with your fingers off for bar two off the B string. Pinch it E and B, then put the little finger back and move the thumb down to the D string with the pinch then open on thickest second fret on thickest so let go with the middle finger on your A chord or if you use your index index let go with that and just go open second so those first two bars bar three is the same as bar one Four, slightly different to bar two, we pinch thumb and index on our A chord, then we play the D, then open, that's the same. So once you've got the feel for it, <clears throat> those first four bars will be getting that. As I said, make sure that we are pushing your wrist forwards a little bit more than normal so that you're not touching any strings you shouldn't be and look for a clean tone without much buzzing. I heard a bit of buzzing in what I was doing just then. So just make sure that you're pressing hard, not touching strings you shouldn't be and uh, pushing forward with your wrist. Here's those first four bars again, because we do repeat bars one to four. That's why there's a repeat symbol there in the music. Three and four. And then you'd repeat. So I don't say that. We're then moving to a D seven chord. So we had this earlier on in the course, first fret on the B string, second fret on the G, second fret on the E. And we're gonna pinch that with the D on the bass note, index, middle and ring, so all four notes in that chord. Then index and middle by itself on the thinnest strings. 
then bass note, then index, middle and ring. So that first half of the bar is big pinch, three finger pinch, bass note, three finger pinch. Big pinch, three finger pinch, bass note, three finger pinch, big pinch, and then three finger pinch. So it's Well, there's no fretting that changes on this hand however this hand is kept on its toes because it's not just pinching the same old strings it's moving about a bit then back to an a chord from there lifting up the little finger you should know the drill by now this is what this song is doing how this melody is working pinching a d and b string then put the little finger back and play that note individually that c sharp then open on thickest then move little finger down to thinnest string on the second fret. And strike that note with the ring. Then open A. Then let go of that little finger note again to do an open E. And then put the little finger back where it normally is for an A on the second fret on the B and pinch. So it's. So just be careful with this bar because you're alternating bass notes. You're going A string. E string, A string, E string. So your thumb's doing this. And it doesn't do that in the rest of the song. It's normally doing this. So it does keep you on your toes, that bar. And a good workout for the bass note, for the little finger. Bar seven is the same D7 bar that we had in bar five. And then this A chord, come back to it, lift up the little finger, pinch A, D and B play that individual second fret on the B string, open on A, open on E, second fret. Then bar nine, that same D7 idea again for the third time. We're then doing uh, an E7, but as well as the open D string, we're also gonna be adding in this D note here. So first fret on the G, second fret on the A, and third fret with the little finger on the B string. Strum all six strings. And then the ending, we're going to pick the second fret on the thinnest string. I like to use my thumb for this for some reason when I'm picking this. Pick, flick the string away. So pull it off. Second fret on the B. Then play that second again. And this time bend it a quarter note. Like that, that's perfect bend. That sound. So just push the string up. So it's... Then play open on B, and then finish on an A7. Second fret on the D, second fret on the B, strum the bottom five strings. So that ending is... And backing up from the E7, you hold it for four beats. One, two, three, four. One and two and three, four. Finishing on that A7. 